Medical Care Developments International Division, MCDI, is lending its voice to this Water is PPE campaign because we, like others dedicated to improving the health and well being of people in low income nations, see an emerging humanitarian crisis associated with the COVID 19 pandemic and a lack of access to clean water and sanitation. The WHO and UNICEF are very estimate that before the pandemic, nearly half of all health facilities in low-income countries lacked access to basic water supply, a situation that is only expected to worsen as public revenues fall. Lack of clean water at health facilities renders them unhygienic centers of infection that spread the virus and over diseases among patients and staff and on to surrounding communities, thus further adding to the total disease burden. The associated increased demand for healthcare resources will further reduce the overextended and under-resourced health systems of these countries to respond to the pandemic, worsening outcomes severely. As government policies required to mitigate the impact of the pandemic have been put in place, they've unfortunately had serious economic implications, leading to dramatic reductions in family incomes, thus threatening the ability of households to purchase essential basic needs, goods and services, such as food, water, and healthcare, among others. Moreover, with the curtailment of economic activity, government revenues have been substantially reduced, undermining their abilities to finance essential social services, such as health care, clean water supply, and sanitation. According to UNICEF, before the pandemic, 785 million people worldwide lacked access to basic water supply. Of this, 80% live in rural areas. Over 50% live in the lowest income nations. As access to clean water and sanitation is further undermined by the pandemic, people in these countries will have increased difficulty washing hands, disinfecting their food and homes. This will further reduce their ability to prevent the transmission of respiratory diseases like the coronavirus and co-infection related to inadequate access to water, sanitation, and hygiene, such as over respiratory infection, diarrhea diseases. This co-infection will put individuals and communities at increasing risk of serious COVID-19 disease. The risk falls in two broad categories. Insufficient water for hand washing and disinfection needed to mitigate transmission among individuals at healthcare facilities and at schools and increased risk of serious COVID-19 disease and death due to compromised health associated with other diseases related to inadequate access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has already been enormous and predictions suggest that it could increase dramatically. As of July 27th, 2020, 188 of 195 countries reported over 16 million positive confirmed cases of COVID-19 and nearly 650,000 deaths. This number of cases has already begun to overwhelm weak health and social services systems in low-income countries. The prospects with further increase are alarming. Similar situation exists in schools. UNICEF estimates over 40% of schools in low-income countries lack water services. Without water in schools, students and teachers cannot wash their hands, clean their schools, 
This will lead to increased transmission of COVID-19 among students and in the communities. For these reasons, MCDI and our partners at Rock Blue, Water.org, the American Water Works Association, and Global Water urge that the global response to the COVID-19 pandemic include a commitment to ensuring adequate water supply for maintaining health and hygiene. Water supply must be considered to be personal protective equipment, or PPE, and resources need to be allocated not just to sustain water supply, but to expand it to areas with inadequate supplies, to health facilities, and to schools. In threatening health, the COVID-19 pandemic threatens the foundation of development and progress. Increased foreign support from multilateral and bilateral sources is essential, and protecting and expanding water services is a critical part of the support needed for the prevention and mitigation of COVID-19.